not what I wanted. Okay, really? Okay, can you just not do do that? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? David Lee back, Modern Tech Philosopher, bringing you everything Apple versus PC related. And especially today, this is Apple related. Because after three months, I've had some awesome times with my 13 inch MacBook, but I've also had at least on the daily, something not go right. And what is that exactly? Trackpad, all this. Now that's not to say there's anything wrong with the trackpad itself. It works, it works fine. But the thing is, since it has such a wider surface space than the older MacBooks, why does it keep slipping? Sometimes when I'm editing a video like in Final Cut Pro or even just using the web browser, a lot of times what happens is when I'm trying to make little micro movements with my hand, sometimes when I lock, drag, or anything, my left hand accidentally sticks onto the pad. Now that doesn't take away from the overall user experience from the 13 inch MacBook. I still believe it's the best travel companion. I still believe that for the price, for the lightweight that it offers, it's one of the best MacBooks you can get. I mean, it's always nice to have a full blown desktop like an iMac, but sometimes having a nice MacBook right in front of you is all you need, except when the damn trackpad is working. But minus the little nuance with the trackpad, the MacBook is still one of the best laptops that you can buy today. For that $1,200 to $1,400 range, it offers lightweight, it's efficient, it's fast, and I think that's why a lot of people, including myself, went with the MacBook, because it's similar to your mobile phone, your iPhone, right? It's light, it's easy to carry. But as far as any performance related issues, this laptop has not overheated on me. It hasn't shut down on me unexpectedly. I've had a couple of quirks with like some specific software, but I think that's more on the software side and less on the MacBook side. And one little thing I will add though, is if you're a hardcore video editor, this thing still works. You know, for me, I do a lot of work with Final Cut Pro and also Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. So a lot of the stuff that I do, it's much easier with my iMac. My MacBook still gets the job done. It takes a little bit longer for certain things to happen, but that's okay. So, should you still consider buying the 2016 13-inch MacBook Pro? And I strongly believe that you should. Consider this. If you're in that price range between $1,200 and $1,300, maybe $1,400, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is perfect for the person that travels a lot. Now, I know I've sort of been beating a dead horse here saying that it's a travel companion. It's best for you to travel, and because it is. Now, by travel, I mean like every day you travel, not you know once a week or um, twice a month, like every day if you travel, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is your go-to. But if you're traveling like you know maybe once a week, um, once every other week, at that point, I would recommend getting the 15 inch. The reason why is you can upgrade it with a stronger graphics card. So for any of you photo editors or video editors out there, you'll have a strong enough GPU to last you over for your photos and for your videos. It's not gonna be as cumbersome going from 13 to 15. It's still gonna be lightweight. But if you're in a situation where you can wait until you go home for all of your like hardcore or more um, high-end complex photo editing, video editing, or other types of work, then go with a 13 inch at that point. And because most likely you're gonna be wanting to have more space in your backpack or your messenger bag for like lenses, for cameras, um, journals, or other types of accessories. So not much of a review, but I figured the one thing that you can take away from this is be cautious of the trackpad. If you can get over that, then you're set to go. But that is it for the video. If you liked the video for any reason, feel free to leave a thumbs up button. If you wish to subscribe to my channel just to be notified for new content that I will be delivering to you, feel free to hit the subscribe button right over here. Other than that, my name is David, Modern Tech Philosopher. I'll see you guys in the next video.